Well, hello. My name is Betsy O'Hagan, and I manage web and marketing for Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, a chapter of the National Audubon Society that's based in the Cleveland, Ohio area in the U.S. And I'm talking today with Corey Ringle, who is president and friends of the Friends of Crowell Holaka. And Corey will be presenting the program Richfield Heritage Preserve, History and Nature, as a part of the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society's member meeting and summer speaker series in this uh, in, in August, on Tuesday, August 4th. So hello, Corey. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Well, I'm hoping that maybe we can just chat for a couple of minutes um, about you and your presentation. Uh, I, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to just read a brief description of your program. So Richfield Heritage Preserve is formerly a Girl Scout camp uh, called Julia Crowell Halaka, once home to pioneers, inventors, agriculturalists, and campers before becoming a beautiful community park for everyone to enjoy. Um, they keep the tradition of diverse uses. The park hosts a variety of activities, from hiking, fishing, and horseback riding, to visiting the beautiful historic homes and seeing inventor Jim Kirby's hydroelectric mill wheel and patented self-clarifying lake. So that's the, for everyone here, that's the, the overall summary. But in your words, Corey, can you tell us a little bit more this sounds very exciting. Um, you know, I always appreciate hearing our history and our stories through the park. Uh, we always are learning something new. Each time we uh, get familiar with the story, then we learn a little bit more. And uh, so I'll be sharing some of the, the stories that, that made us who we are, um, all the way from the 1800s when Mary Elizabeth Carter was kidnapped by the indigenous people and, and her grandson came and kind of uh, developed the area in Ohio, uh, despite his grandma, you know, warning, hey, don't go west, it's scary out that way. Um, all the way up to, as you mentioned, uh, James Kirby, who was uh, uh, at the park for a, a, few, uh, a few years. And then uh, he had a, a very rich 75 years of making women into leaders and we, we found a a great uh, uh, lineage of stories. And then the best part of all, now instead of it just being available for young women, now everyone can go. And even that is an, is an adventure in itself. Even though it's only a, a five, six year old adventure, it's an adventure. Wow, that's awesome. So Corey, are you a Clevelander and, and how did you get connected with all of this work? Well, when I was a little kid, uh, I used to go there and I loved all the historic homes. And uh, when I got older, I, I went to school for architecture. And uh, in order to become licensed, you have to do 80 hours of community service in architecture. So I wanted to go back to the place that inspired me and hopefully encourage other young ladies to get involved in um, science and engineering. Uh, the place had the hydroelectric water wheel and a dance hall built on springs. Um, and unfortunately, they had made the decision to, to get rid of the camp. And uh, I joined up with a group of women and, uh, and men, and we, we worked with the community to make them aware of the park and, and get them interested, and uh, the rest is history. I'm still here, more than 80 hours wow. later. <laughs> That's so exciting. So how many years have you been involved with it, and, and what kind of growth and development have you seen since you've been involved? Oh, gosh. Uh, I've been camping there for over 30 years. Uh, but I've been involved in this capacity for uh, a little over 10 years. And uh, boy, we started off as a real small group. And since then, we've really diversified. We have people in our group who are good at history and others are good at historic structures. Um, but really what I, I love is um, we have a lot of nature people. And it, it made me more diverse as a human, you know, to... Uh, to learn about the invasive plants and my favorite is on Sundays I get together with my friend and we go to the park and hike and look for the birds and that's how I got familiar with your organization and and learning about all the things that the park has to offer. Oh that's wonderful 
Now, I understand that hopefully in the future, um, members and friends of Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society will be able to, to help pitch in with bird identification and bird counts uh, there on the preserve. Yes, um, I know the uh, uh, the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society has already graced us with a beautiful presentation last October, and um, uh, members of your organization have been out for the uh, Christmas bird count, and then even other partnerships. Um, oh, that's the I'm so sorry. Uh, Akron uh, Akron Audubon Society has been out, uh, and they helped us with a summer bird uh, nesting bird count. Oh, that's wonderful. That's very awesome. Well, it is just such a treasure and such a jewel. Um, um, what um, what do you think are what is the best way for people today in our era of COVID? Um, is the preserve open? And what how do you can people experience the preserve now? Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, come out and visit us. Uh, it's, it's always wonderful to have more and more people fall in love with the park because the more people love it, the, the better it'll be in the long run. Um, if you enjoy birding, we had a pair of uh, nesting bald eagles out there for the longest time, and then maybe after three, five years, uh, they moved on and some owls moved into their place. And uh, there really is a lot. We, we have two lakes and a big field area, a lot of diverse uh, natural areas to kind of have beautiful borders between each of them, it's, it's fun. Um, come out, visit us, because the more people that are there and the more people that love it, that's the best thing that can happen. And you can oh, do that during COVID. <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Just thank you guys for all your support. Um, our organization is only uh, 11 years old this year, and we have really grown by our partnerships. And so we can't say thank you enough uh, for all your uh, mentorship, as we're a much younger organization than you guys, that you provide to us, and, and just the learning opportunities. Thank you, everyone, with Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society. Oh, well, thank you, Corey, and we really, really look forward to your presentation and getting learning more and seeing you and meeting you again uh, Tuesday, August 4th, uh, for the uh, member meeting and the speaker program. The speaker program starts at 8 p.m., and uh, if you're watching this video and you would like to join, just go to wcaudubonauzubon.org and uh, at the home page, just click on the WCAS Virtual Conference Center navigational button and it will take you right to us. Well, thank you, Corey. Thank you so much. And we look forward to learning much more.